Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fade in or fade out any 3D object in Copper Cube with the help of a shader action. So without further ado, let's jump right into the topic. So as always, we need to install the extension to our computer first. So open up your browser and go to www.neophyte.cf and click this assets button here and download the first action shader which is copper cube shader action to fade in and fade out a 3d object assuming that you already know how to install the extension to your computer now open up your copper cube editor let me just maximize it and delete the default skybox and now if you want to fade in or fade out this cube mesh here so what we are going to do is we are going to attach a new behavior to our root 3d scene node here and then we are going to attach our shader action to that behavior it is recommended that you attach your shader action to your root scene node behavior so go and select your root scene node then click this behavior tab here and attach a new behavior triggered by events and then select when a key is pressed to something change your change your key type to f or you can use whatever key you want and then attach the scripted action search for fade in or fade out an object and select the cube mesh as an affecting node here and then if you don't want to affect all the materials of this cube mesh to fade in or fade out then you can uncheck this affecting all material affect all materials parameter here and then specify the material which you want to change or fade or suppose if you want to change the second material of your object if your object has multiple materials for example if your object has five materials then you can specify which material you want to change for example if you want to change the second material only then you can specify second here if you want to change the third material then you can specify three here and if you want to affect all the materials then you can check this affect all materials back here then we have fade out option here if this option is check marked then the object will fade out and if this option is unchecked then the object will fades in so check this to make the object fade out then we have fade speed you can increase or decrease the fading speed then we have delete after fade out so what this option will do is it will delete the object or the affecting node automatically when the object fades out or the fades out process completes and then we have action when completed so you can specify a specific action to get executed when the fading process is complete for example if the object fades in completely then change the texture of the object or you can do whatever you want so right now i'm gonna leave it on default settings then if i press ctrl f10 or if i go to tools here and test as windows application and now if i press f then the object should fades fade out so if i press f and the object fades out completely but what if i want my object to fade in so i'm gonna create a new behavior here behavior triggered by event when a key is pressed to something and i'm gonna change my key type to g and then i'm gonna attach the fade in or fade out shader again and then select the cube mesh as affecting node and instead of fading out this time i'm gonna make it fades in so remove or uncheck this fade out option here and click ok and now if i press ctrl f10 to test my application and if i press f now then the object should fade out and if i press g then it should fade back in so if i press f the object is now faded and if i press g then it will fade back in so this is how fade out and fade in works but there is one more thing which i want you to show for example if i change or check this delete after fade out here and test the application so if i press f now then it will fade the object and the object gets deleted automatically so if i press g to make the object fade back in 
then it will throw me an error that the provided scene node is invalid. So if I press G now, then it will throw me an error that could not get material count provided scene node is invalid. So this is how the delete after fade out object or the option works. And one more thing I want you to tell is that if you want your object to fade out then make sure it is visible and if you want your object to fade in then make sure it is invisible so if this option here visible is turned on and if you are fading in only for example if i go back to here in my behaviors of root 3d scene node and if i delete the fade out behavior and leave only the fades in behavior here and if I press Ctrl F10 and now if I press G then the object will blink for a millisecond and then it will start fading. So if I press G then the object will blink and then it will start fading in. So as you can see the object blinks and then it starts fading in and this is not something which we want in when we are playing games. So to prevent this make sure your object is hidden or it is invisible by unchecking this visible here and press ctrl F10 and now if I press F oh sorry G then the object will fades in smoothly without any blinking so if I press G now then it will fades in smoothly and now we are going to test the last option of our shader action which is execute an action when completed. So I'm gonna change the texture of a cube mesh. Select the cube mesh and change the texture to this metallic or the rusted metal texture. And now if I press Ctrl F10 to test the application and if I press G and when the object gets completely faded in then it will change the texture to the provided texture. So if I press G now and as soon as the object fades in completely the texture is changed. So this is how the execute action works and now let's see the speed, fade speed. Suppose I want my fading speed to be slow or the fade process to be slow then I can decrease the speed here. So for example if I press 2 here put 2 here and if I test the application now and if I press G then it will take a much longer time to fade in. So if I press G now then the cube mesh will take a bit more time than its previous time and now its texture gets changed. So this is how the shader action works for fading in or fading out an object. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe. You can also join my Discord channel and link in the description down below. So that's it. Bye bye. Have a good day. Peace out.